Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So here we have an issue that can uh, happen uh, to your computer. For example, you cannot see BIOS. Basically when you start a computer where you just restart, uh, the computer will start directly in Windows. In my case I have an RX 580 GPU. Uh, probably you have the same. So basically what happened is that after I made an update to, to BIOS, I upgraded the CPU, I installed the new Ryzen 5 500. After I uh, booted the computer, I noticed that I cannot see BIOS anymore. What happens is that the computer will start directly in uh, Windows. So I'm going to show you how it's, uh, how it's working. So basically if I restart, the the screen will go completely dark like it uh, receives the monitor doesn't receive any signal from the computer and after a while it will uh, start uh, windows and i'm going to to explain uh what i've tried and uh, what what worked and what can you do so the computer goes like this, uh, the monitors are showing no signal and if we wait a bit it will uh, just start Windows. That's the GPU fans. Okay, so because of that if I cannot see BIOS I cannot really install Windows reinstall windows if I need because I cannot set the the USB uh, stick as a primary boot device so I can't really install windows so uh, what I've tried uh, to do and uh, what uh, what I've learned so basically I've tried with different uh, monitors, with different uh, display uh, ports. I've tried with HDMI, uh, connecting the computer to a TV with uh, the old uh, VGA and uh, S-Video ports and obviously display port. Eric 580 has I think four uh, four slots, three display port and one HDMI. I've tried with everything with five different monitors, and none worked. Uh, what what worked is uh, that I uh, had around an old uh, GPU from Nvidia, so a GeForce, very old from I think uh, eight years ago. It's still PCI Express, so it's compatible with this uh, computer. I've installed that uh, GPU instead of the RX 580 and it actually, after starting the computer, it actually displayed BIOS. So you can do the same. You have two options. Uh, after, obviously, you try everything with uh, different cables, different monitors. If it still doesn't work, you can get an old GPU, a PCI Express GPU for like 10 bucks or something. You keep it around. When you need to install Windows, you just uh, install that GPU. You install Windows, you install the drivers and everything, and then you just change with the RX 580 this is one option uh, the second option is obviously to get rid of the 580 and uh, get a new better GPU however they are pretty expensive and RX 580 is a pretty decent uh, GPU even in uh, 2023 so these are the two options that you have to install Windows and to see BIOS. Obviously from BIOS you can do a couple of other things like for example change the the DDR memory frequency uh, or 
do some overclocking from OCG or uh, some some basic overclocking for the CPU. But in this case, um, since you cannot really see bias with this GPU, you will need to to get a new GPU or as I said, get an old one and use it to install Windows. All right, so. Uh, in my case, the computer has a Ryzen 5 500 uh, CPU, an MSI motherboard and the Eric's 580 GPU. And as I said, something is uh, creating an incompatibility from the motherboard and the GPU. I've researched uh, on the internet, on Reddit and everything, but still I haven't found a solution except the one that I told you with uh, using other another GPU. Alright, so if you have any other suggestions, any comments, leave in the comments uh, area. If you found the video useful, please subscribe and thank you for watching.